Hello, everybody, and welcome to GameSpot Tournament TV. We're calling this one Snake Wars. I'm one of your hosts, Rich Gallup. Welcome, everyone. We have quite an exciting tournament for you today. History being made here on GameSpot Tournament TV. Ryan Davis, Brad Shoemaker. We're playing a PSP game. Fantastic. How is that possible? We're doing a PSP game over the internet. We're going to do a tournament of it. And, and it's no. Be, yes. No. Get out your TI-86. We're going to play some Snake. Yes. Get your, get, your, get your Nokia handset. Pick up the big numbers and you'll get bigger than you <laughs> trap someone. <laughs> right, Brad Shoemaker? Absolutely. No. I, 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 no, like, no, I like Tetris wrong, on no. okay. Kevin Van Ord, GameSpot Tournament Coordinator. Please tell us what is this tournament is all about. What's the name of the game, sir? The name of the game is Metal Gear Solid Portable Ops. Oh, that's a different what snake. Do you know? Yeah, a different snake. Sorry about that. Cool. Imagine if they put Maybe Solid Snake in Snake, though. That would be the best snake game ever. Ah, but it would just be nothing but cutscenes. It would. Well, before we get any more foolisher out here. Okay. <laughs> foolisher? <laughs> Kevin Van Ord, we have him here to tell us about just general breakdown, what this match is all about. Kevin. Do it for us. Hey guys, you know, this has been actually an interesting tournament. There were people that told me this couldn't be done. Yeah. And indeed we're doing it. Um, the way we're doing it, I've had a lot of questions about how we're getting the video for this. We actually have a development unit um, for the PSP that Konami's provided to us, so we can actually pull video right out of it. Um, looks good. Um, what we're going to be doing is watching six players um, in good old classic deathmatch, and the top three run away with the prizes. But I don't want to get too far into that because I actually think we have a, a video with some voice do. That, that explains all this. Let's roll that tape. In the beginning, 48 players entered the tournament. And today, you're going to see the top six Frank players duke it out for first, second. Today, in a death match, shooting throwing it down, shooting each other on the PSP. But you may also notice right here in front of me. We have a, uh, a PSP. I did notice. I had to slap Brad's hand. He was going to try and get into it. This I, is I camouflage. This is, a, this is a unique item. Yes, this is Japan only. This was released with uh, Metal Gear Solid Portable. Oh, exactly. Yeah. In Japan. Camouflage Sorry. PSP, people. And you might be camouflage. watching right now and saying, man, one of those people playing the tournament sure is lucky they're going to win that. No! This goes to one of you, the viewers. We're going to ask a trivia at the end of the show. And also, we have 12, count them, 12 copies of Metal Gear Solid Whoa, Portable. Whoa, you just pulled that out of nowhere. On the PSP. I can do it again. Look like, I all, saw the four out here. Look at all that. Oh, look my, at, oh, oh my God. They're all, there's, the, there's the 12. We're, get, we're giving them all away yes. at the end of the show. Fantastic. So stay tuned for that. That's but, for the folks at home. Yeah, but first, hey, let's see that video and where Kevin breaks down the tournament for us. Take it away, video. Today's episode of Tournament TV enters kind of the blue. world of free-for-all deathmatch with Metal Gear Solid Portable Ops for the PSP and Snake Wars. In the beginning, 48 players entered the tournament, and today you're going to see the top six ranked players duke it out for first, second, and third place on four different maps. Round one is going to take place on the com base map, round two on the town map, round three is at the Soviet patrol base, and in the final round, our players are going to find themselves in the silo entrance. Each round will last 10 minutes, and in the final match, each player's score will be tallied. The player with the highest score is going to take home the gold. In the unlikely event of a tie for first, second, or third place, a sudden death tie-breaking match will be played between the players that it applies to. Sudden death will be a 10-minute two-player death match on the com base map. The winner of the match will win the tiebreaker, and the tournament results will be adjusted accordingly. Our tournament winners today will be awarded the following prizes. Third place winner receives a $100 gift card from Best Buy. Second place, $300 gift card from Best Buy. And first place wins a $600 gift card from Best Buy. Big money, big prizes. I love it. I love it. <laughs> yes. Kevin Van Ord, that is what we know about the basics of the tournament. Please tell me, what's a Fulton Extraction System? <laughs> well, the Fulton Extraction System, um, for, the, for those that don't know much about this game, um, the players are actually bringing in a whole team. Um, of up to four, four different characters that they can use. Um, if they're getting low on health, they can actually bring in another member of the team. So if you happen to see some guy parachute off, um, what that means is they've actually decided to, uh, to replace that member of the team with somebody else that's on their, their team. Those, uh, those characters are uh, gotten in the single player. They can get them through going through to different hot spots and picking them up that way. Um, so the single player and the multiplayer are very closely tied together in this particular game. Cool. It, it puts a nice little twist on the uh, on on the so, death match. So you're saying that the people that have put in more time in this game, in the single player game, they've they've collected up more uh, yes. more teammates and they've they've ranked them up. They're going to have an advantage here. Yes, that's fantastic. That is fantastic. I want to see this. I, you want to see it? Yeah. Are you ready to get going? 
Are we? I, yes. Kevin, how are you feeling? I'm feeling great. We're gonna Brad, are you ready to get started. going? Absolutely, let's do it. Kevin, let's kick this off, sir. Let's get this restarted. So this is the first one we're going to the comm base, is that right? That is right. And it's going to be 10 minutes on each map. And uh, the scoring is also a little bit tricky. This is a point-based thing. Yeah. But it's not just like one point, one kill. There's right. a little more. There's frogs involved. That's right. Amphibians. Yeah. yeah. All kind of floating magical amphibians over your head. So, so there's basically you're getting points for killing people. You're getting more points for getting headshots. And yes. Whoever the current point leader is, they'll be recognizable by a little frog uh, hanging over their head. Yes. And uh, anyone they kill with it while they're in that point lead. Are you ready to get to the action? Let's, I'm, just, I'm just waiting. I thought we it's were going. Let's go. It's going. <laughs> Don't look at me. Look at the, look at the game. I've been, I've been trying to. It's been, it's been going for a good 30 seconds right now, and all we're right. already seeing all kinds of headshots. Fantastic. Yes. The, uh, we're, here we're looking at there the action now. There are some dead bodies. Now, we have six combatants here. Their names are, or the, their in game names are Solidus Paul, Snack, Mr. B Unique, Star with two A's, Fuami, and Jono. And you will see their names sideways as they're running around uh, along with their health bars. So here's Snack. Yes. He's, he's trucking along here in the comm base. Getting up to the wall. Now, uh, what sort of special abilities can we expect to see here? Kevin? Uh, <laughs> well, you're going to see a lot of stealth. They can slide along walls, um, things like that. Um, the better the okay, character, so you're actually going to see some more Falami's interesting on things. on a rampage here already. Why you, you guys, see why star here? Let Kevin talk? Because I'm watching the action. I'm Kevin's talking. You asked Kevin a question. you got to let Kevin answer the question here, man. I don't know if you noticed that just now. We're following Star around here, and he's occasionally going invisible. Um, so uh, oh, wow. you've got uh, you've got a few characters. Uh, if they're high enough in level, they can actually go uh, all stealthy on you like that by uh, by disappearing completely. And he, there's a nice headshot on Fulami. Now, so Fulami, I think, already has the frog over his head, the Karatan. Uh, Kevin, can you tell us how you score points killing people in this game? Well, essentially, the uh, the way that works is uh, if you make a kill, you get a point for that. Make a headshot, you get a few more points for that. However, if you are leading score wise. Um, what that means is that uh, you've got that frog over your head, and that means that when you make kills, you're going to get more points. But it also means you're going to lose points as you get as you uh, as you get killed. So, Parachute out! I believe we extraction. just saw the, the Fulton extraction in action. That was awesome! Shoot out! Yes, <laughs> All right. So so if you have the frog over your head, people will get more points for killing you. Is um, it? that is actually correct, yes. Cool. But you also get more points if you're killing somebody as the, uh, the leader. That well. sounds like if someone's good at this game, they'll get the lead and never give it up. They'll just run away with it. Well, you'd so be it surprised. Makes, it seems like it would also make them more desirable to, to hunt down for those that aren't in the lead at the time. Yes. So I, it seems like that's a, a decent, uh, decent amount of balance there. So we're already uh, two minutes and 20 seconds into this. Kevin, can you give us a quick uh, score update? Maybe we'll see what the map looks like for people at home as well. We sure can. Lami ordered with 43 points. But the next highest is uh, 12 49. Stars. Oh my gosh. Lami is running away with this already. Uh, he has 10 kills, only two deaths. Meanwhile, John will bring up the rear with zero points. We have 0, 3, 3, 6, 12, 55. Unbelievable. Let's just watch Lami in action. Uh, I think I, I say we watch the point leader until the point leader is no more. Uh, he just he, he just killed Star. There we go. That's him right there. That's little frog over his head. Do we know who he's playing as? No, but he's shoot out. <laughs> <laughs> Fulton extraction system in effect. <laughs> so uh, this looks like a fairly square map we're seeing right now. A couple nice little bits you can hide behind, but it's really uh, a lot of the kills. You know, they're just people standing next to each other. It looks like there's a little bit of an indoor-outdoor kind of thing going on, but there's still a, a heavy amount. Oh, Falami going down. Going. Boom! Keeping the frog, though. Keeping the frog. Maintaining uh, the cute frog. Well, <laughs> Falami, as you probably know, was the front runner going into this thing. Yes. He, he How do you do in the preliminary? He, he appara apparently, he steamrolled over the competition. Steamrolled? Yes. Interesting choice of words. Yeah, yes. I don't think there was a steamroller in this game. Well, figuratively, he did. Oh, okay. That's an Elgar Solid 4. <laughs> <laughs> it's unannounced feature. You heard it here first. Steam roller. Metal Gear Steam Roller. Yes. Falami killed. Yes. Headshot. Falami killed. Headshot. You're gonna see now that this, some more this, times. This, this this frog thing. Uh, uh, it obviously is making you way more visible because you can see it like up over these these short walls here, uh, which is not working to his advantage right now because he's getting killed repeatedly. Uh, but. It doesn't seem to matter too much. It also gives you a little bit of a visual cue for where the headshot would be because you've got that 
marker right over the head. Sure, so. you just aim down a little bit and boom. Yep. How many uh, different weapons should we expect to see here, Kevin? It really just seems like everyone's grabbing some sort of machine gun and uh, blazing away. You know, actually the machine guns are probably the most viable weapons in the, in the game. Um, I've seen some guys try to use, over the course of the tournament, use shotguns. Um, that, that particular weapon is essentially uh, totally useless, um, <laughs> from what I can tell. Um, so that's definitely not a weapon that I would recommend using in this game as you as you continue because those guys, um, as as Brad said, got got steamrolled by the competition. How long can you stay invisible here, Fulami? Uh, he's, just, well, it's amazing that he's shooting and he's staying invisible as well. He's that's, a ghost. That's, it's, not, it's not even like he's hard to see. You can't see you him at all. You just there can't see go. him. Yeah, he can't stay nice. that way forever. But uh, shoot out! And there he goes. Now, you do get a point hit every time you use the Fulton Extraction System, is that right? That is true. Now, it's it's not completely, you're not completely uh, powerless if you're against somebody that's going to use that particular ability. Um, you could throw a chaff grenade, and uh, that would enable no one um, that was affected by that grenade to actually use the extraction. Because as we know in Metal Gear, right Brad, chaff grenade goes out and just all these electronics just stop working. That's what happens. Yeah. Then you do that fun little run. Yeah. Where's the chaff gun? You know, when's that gonna come? I, I don't think, I think you don't want to like focus chaff. I think you want a, a area oh, you of want chaff. A, you want to spread up. Yeah, or something like a, a, like a, a chaff grenade launcher almost. Like a, like just a chaff, walk around a with a hose. cloud. A, yeah, a cloud of chaff around you. And we see Falami just getting up close and personal right there with Jono. There he Falami, shoot out! Falami using liberal, making liberal use of the Fulton Extraction well, let's, uh, now I just like saying Fulton Extraction He's obviously system. pretty confident in his chances here. We have less than five minutes to play here, Kevin. Can we get another update on the score, please? Absolutely. 115 for Fulami Star in 32nd place with 34, Snack 17, Solace Paul 12, Mr. Be Unique 2, and Jono 0. Now do you see why I'd use a word like steamroll? Yeah, 125, 27, 25 kills, 7 deaths. He is dead now though. He, he, yes, but... But he can come back. That's and true. There, and, uh... It seems to me since he's gotten the lead and getting those double points and all the headshots and everything. So that headshot right there for Fulami, that is worth how many points, Kevin? I believe that on his part that may be worth six points. I don't have a list of the points in front of me, though. That's fine. It's, we know it's more than one, though, and that's why he can that have only 20-some kills, yet a score over 120 points right now. With four minutes left to play in the first map. By the way, at the end of the match, at the end of all four rounds, as Kevin told us at the top, the grand prize is a $600 gift card to Best Buy. That's money. Second place is a $300 gift card to Best Buy, and third place is a $100, $100 gift card to Best Buy. So basically, Fulami's getting a PS3, I think is what we're <laughs> If he hasn't gotten one already, he can cover the tax. Yes. He's, he's got a PS3. I don't think State, he can find one, though. You, you, I think you can. And at Best Buy, no less. True. But stay tuned, of course, at the end of the match for your chance to win a special camouflage Metal Gear Solid Portable Ops PSP. That is sweet. Direct from Japan, or a copy of the game itself. Here's a nice shot of Fulami, uh, looking pretty thuggish right there. It seems like he's using this one character uh, repeat. Like, it seems like that his group of four is this guy. That is true. I think this character's name is Null. Is this if Null? I'm not mistaken. If only the guy who reviewed this game was still around. I know. He could. He could speak intelligently about it. He could. Oh well. And said uh, they get us. Yeah. <laughs> said, you said it right. <laughs> Three minutes left to play here on the com base. Falami running away with this. Now, Kevin, you were saying that uh, the, uh, the, the chatter you were hearing, hearing earlier in the, the, the tournament was that Noel was a, a favorite character. Do you have any insight as to why that was? Well, I think that um, that's one of the characters that can survive a headshot. I think um, you have to have a, a headshot's going to take away a certain number of hit points. Um, but there are a few upper level characters that can actually survive a headshot. Um, so I think that's why uh, Null is one of those uh, favorite characters. Also, they have uh, different, um, different stats for different things that they can do. So, um, for example, the higher up you go, you know, your character may be able to gain the stealth abilities. Um, Shoot out! Gain, oops. <laughs> you keep going. <laughs> gain other abilities, <laughs> such as, uh, you know, being able to use weapons better or... or uh, other specific weapons not available to other characters. So now, now, do we know how hard it was to obtain Null in the single player game? Um, I'm honestly not sure, but uh, I'm we sure it takes ask, dozens uh, and dozens of hours. Fulami, aka Christian Herrera, at the end of the match I'll, when we call I'll, the winner I'll of the match. Make a note. Yes. Shoot out! 
I'm just gonna keep saying that. Dude, do it. And, I, and, and I, will, I will keep mentioning the Fulton extraction system. You will. We're right now looking at Mr. B Unique, Sounds aka like a Arnaldo Guzman. Mr. B Unique or the Fulton extraction system? The Fulton extraction system. It does, sounds painful. You two can benefit from the Fulton extraction system. Under two minutes to play here. Watch the pounds melt away with the Fulton extraction system. <laughs> <laughs> Here's Snake. We're not seeing much of Snake. That's true. Speaking of seeing, now we're watching this third person, obviously, kind of chase cam. Uh, are the people playing this game in first person, Kevin? They are they actually playing um, in a combination of uh, first and third person, I believe. Um, so when they go into stealth and, and uh, other things, they're going to see their character from a third person point of view. All right. One minute, 30 Falami seconds left just to play here. mopping up here. Let's, uh, let's, uh, all right, now we're watching Jono, who's in last place. All we know about Jono is that he, uh, his real name is John Claston, and his score in the semifinal round is 144. Pretty respectable score, but, uh, I believe he's still in the basement today, so far. And you know, I'm going to retract what I just said, because I'm almost positive now that I think about it, that this is all played from the third person. So. Is it? Yeah. You, you're the, you're, you are the expert. Well, if I recall, uh, if, if it's like uh, what I remember, you can shoot from the first person, but you can't move while you're in the first person. So it's, That's why you can't move. Yeah. Yes. It's, a, it's a distinct disadvantage to go to the first person. because. Now, Brad, you played, a, shoot out! You played a decent amount of Fulton Extraction System. You played a decent <laughs> amount of <laughs> Metal Gear Solid 3 with uh, the multiplayer. A little bit, yeah. In Japan. Yeah. Yes. Yes, Unfor <laughs> unfortunately, yes. With the camera strapped I, to your in a, in, face. A in a very public forum, yes. <laughs> yes. At TGS. With, with, with nobody else than Kojima himself egging us on. Yes, uh, but, from, from what you played of that then and what you're seeing here, what's, what's the similarity? It's very similar. I mean, all this is essentially derived from that. Okay. Uh, if you've played Subsistence online, then you know what you're getting into with this. We have 25 seconds left to play. A quick glance at the score shows Fulami has 237 points, Star 43, Solidus Paul 40, and Snack at 39, so there's Look definitely going to be a battle for second place. Dead heat for second place. Meanwhile, Mr. B Unique has 11, and Jono still has Zed. Z Zilch. Zero. Zed, I like that. What are you, yeah. Canadian? Uh, we. Ten seconds, <laughs> ten seconds left to play. Exclamation point, and the timepiece lets you know that time is about to run out, and we will get a tally of the scores here, uh, because there's definitely Hot a race snake on snake for action. second place. And that is the official end of our first round at the com base. Here's our score, Fulami 247, Star 52, Solidus Paul 48, and Snack with 38, Mr. B Unique with 10 it looks like, and Jono with zero. Jono could not catch a break in that round. Five kills but 24 deaths. Man. So you did not know how to hide. No. That was uh, that was pretty brutal. That it was. It's really it's like seriously like judging by those numbers, it almost seems like Christian Herrera, Christian Herrera, aka Fulano, could just stop playing right now and you take home the six hundred dollars. You wonder if these guys can come back against that kind of performance. Well, shall we find out? Let's. All right. Already round, moving on round to two. town. Round two. Town. I love that place. Don't stop for nothing. <laughs> Are you a townie? Would you say? <laughs> uh, sure. I've been a townie once upon a time. And we are already watching uh, bodies hit the floor here in the second round. Kevin, while the first round is getting started, uh, while the second round is getting started, what did you, any surprises? Um, not one whatsoever. Um, Figured. I, I, you know, I've been watching Fulami through this entire tournament, and uh, there's no doubt that he's been the front runner from the, from the very beginning, um, with scores as high as you know, over 600 in any particular round. So um, he's, he's well poised to actually um, beat that record with 247 just in a single round this time around. Meanwhile, we are seeing a tight battle for second place though between Paul Morasco, Nathan Acero, and Brian Correa, AKA Solidus Paul, Star, and Snack. Uh, do you have a favorite amongst those three? You know, I was looking at Solidus. He's the one that uh, looked, well, most solid. Uh, going into, uh, see what I did there? Um, he was the one that probably looked like the best second um, second runner up here. Or, pardon me, the, the runner up coming into this, but uh, it, it's really tough to say because all these players have been pretty talented. Um, obviously, Fulami um, running over the competition, but anything's possible. Well, Fulami's performance notwithstanding, look at what happened to the next three guys. Exactly. I mean, look at how small that spread was. It's close. And since we're on a new map right here, Ryan Davis, I believe we have a new leader. On I'm round. excited about this. Snack is taking the early lead. He's got the frog. <laughs> he does have the frog, and he's holding on to it for quite some time. We're already a minute and a half into this. So, uh, Kevin, I believe that, I'm guessing that means scores do not carry over from one round to the next? That is correct. They're going to start fresh from map to map. Nice. Oh. Shoot out! Did he shoot out in time? He did. 
Gone. He used the Fulton extraction system to his advantage. Yep. Highly recommended. <coughs> now, are, how are we determining an overall winner? Are we just tallying points scores? Just it's just a raw. It is, it is a points raw cumulative over all, the four the rounds. Points. Okay. Look at this, exactly. like toe to toe, shooting each other in the face action right here, and no one died. How null did that versus happen? null. How is that even possible? Maybe someone went in the world. In the world of Metal Gear Solid, Paul getting shot is, in the back possible. and killed by Mr. B. Unique right there. Snack with a headshot on Jono. Poor Jono. Not can't catch a break. Made it. He made it this far though. He did. He did. That's true. He gets into the. Semis. Kevin, do fourth, fifth, gets and sixth place get anything, or is it just a pat on the back? They just get a pat on the back, and they got to be on TV. All right, that counts. Tournament TV. Now that's something. TV. Yeah, it's it's TV. It all counts. Jono with a headshot of Snack, not to be denied. And Falami headshot. Uh, looks Mr. Like B unique. It's, it's, has Star lost his star? Has, Who's got the frog? Star has lost the frog, it would seem. How, how are the scores looking two and a half minutes in? Yeah, take a look here and see what's going Snack on. Snack with the lead, 27. Star, 17. Falami, 13. Snack jumping up to 33, showing how important it is to be the leader. Do we feel like, uh, like Falami might be getting comfortable after taking such a, a dominating lead in the first round? No. Falami's going to go after it. You think he's going to chase it? Yep. yep. So far, Snack, though, we're, we're talking three minutes nearly. I would this not round. mind seeing Snack or anyone really just running up the score right here. Sure. You know, bring it a little even so Falami doesn't get to walk in it, but it really seems that frog is the game changer as oh, we are three minutes into this. Shot. Shoot out, dude, shoot out! How did he? He's, he's got no life at all. I think, I think we got to shoot out there. We just there was just no animation for it because okay. now they or he now died. Actually, maybe he died. No, I didn't see any any. There was any, any death, death animation. Any death? Uh, Something happened to Snack. Something. Yes. Ran off to the fridge. Lots of headshots. Saw his Paul on Jono. Meanwhile, Snack has the frog and is taking down Mr. B Unique. There you go. Falami, and then Falami, Falami, Falami stealing the kill. Took the kill from him. He's right like, there. you know, I got the lead. I want to keep it. Exo you, has the calm. You can't have this. Number one. There's some smart stealth right there. And there's some uh, Snack and Fulami going ahead. Snack stunned Fulami. What's a stun, Kevin? Oh. You know what? You can stun the characters so that he can't actually move or do anything for a period of time. And then someone else can walk right yeah, up exactly. and shoot. Exactly. <laughs> you got it. Mr. B. Unique taking good advantage of that situation. <coughs> That's just mean. That's just mean. You just got the little stars over your head. You know, you Jono killed Snack. Here we have a, a little reversal there. Last place taken out first. A lot of nulls going on right now. It would seem to be the, the, the obvious character of choice at the moment. Surviving the headshot without headgear. How does that work? Uh, bleached hair? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Tough noggin. Tough no yes. They Star have killing Fulami. We are, this is Star we're looking at right now, AKA I'm sure Nathan it is Nacero. addressed through extensive Metal Gear Solid fiction. Yes. Are you suggesting something in Metal Gear Solid makes sense? Or is explained Lee, Lee, in Lee, any Lee, fashion. Lee, Lee, Lee. Yeah. Now, Brad, tell us. Yes. What does uh, what does Null have to do with La Lulilelo? Yes. Yeah. Can you explain uh, the connection there? Metal and the Gear. Metal Gear. Metal Gear. Um. <laughs> Metal uh, Gear. I need scissors. Let me, let me, <laughs> Is that the line I don't remember? Let me, let me play another game, and I'll get back to you. <laughs> <laughs> we are Later. almost at the five minute mark right here. I'm not seeing a frog. Kevin, who's leading? Let's take a look. There you oh, go. Like Snack still leading. has a frog, but it's a tie oh, game. Twenty nine. Twenty nine. Take a look at that. 29, 29, so Snack 20. and Star both have the frog. Sharing the frog. Fulami all the way down to fourth at 17 points. Jono. Disappointing. Back in it. 20. Yeah, yeah. Jono. Is Five it? kills, 10 deaths, still with 20 points, though. Yeah. Snack. Meteoric jump right there from 28 to 47 while we're watching the scoreboard. Is Fantastic. It? Let's get back to the action. I want to yeah, see Snack well, do Snack, his magic Snack, Snack is uh, rolling here. Is it, is it possible? Shoot out! Is. Snack well. Is it possible at this point that it's still anybody's game? Uh, it, is it is possible because there's three more maps to go, but you have to know that uh, Fulami going into this round had it practically a 200 point advantage. That's a lot of points. Yeah, and since you know we're halfway through this, and the most points we see right now is uh, is forty something, I don't think we're going to see anyone get to two hundred again, at least this round. Now, why do you think it is that he dominated so so easily the first round, and now he, it's uh, he he got the lead and he, uh, he held shoot on. out. He was making he he had the lead, so he was getting the double points. He made very smart use of the Fulton extraction system. You saw in that first round, almost constantly pulling out characters. Yeah. An early lead is really, really important um, from what I can see. Because a lot of the time, once you've got that lead, it's really hard to give it up once you have a sizable one. I feel like we're seeing a lot more snakes this time in this round. Is, more uh, snake on snake action. Yeah, snake wars, if you would. Now, is it going to hit your points harder to Fulton extract or to die? 
I'm sorry, you mean use the Fulton extraction system? Uh, Falami has the frog! Uh oh. How did that even happen? Where did that come from? Completely missed it. 47. That's a jump in 30 points in like seven seconds. Very impressive. Yeah. They just got another headshot. And that it's really just it's all about the frog. Kill the guy with the frog, get the frog. Run with the frog. Man, and here we were thinking it was gonna be like shoot out! That's, Man. that's strategy. It's it's it's, it's <laughs> got total some strategy. visibility here. Saw us Paul Saul's invisible Paul. with a headshot on Jono. Awful lot of invisibleness here. It's invisibility. If you no, could no, turn invisibleness is invisibleness. I think the, the proper you had it right the first time. If you could turn invisible with Chameleonality. You? Oh yeah. <laughs> I would fly. <laughs> Who said anything about flying, hey, man? You know, you're no, asking. If he could turn invisible, he would fly. But yeah, I had to have sure. super, yeah, super strength. Sure, why not? <laughs> See through walls. Here's Solidus Paul. Solidus Paul uh, in third place after the first round, trailing by Apparently. trailing star by four points. Meanwhile, Fulami 52 <sighs> points, Snack 39, Star 25, Jono 25, Solidus Paul 19, Mr. Be Unique 19. It's a lot closer this time around. Mr. Be Unique just got nine points for that headshot of Fulami. It seemed like maybe Apparently. maybe I'm wrong, but that's really what. Yeah, it that like. may very well be the case. Shoot out. But it's not shoot. It's like a little blimp. Yeah. No, uh, apparently Pinhead is an unlockable character. Yes, in this game. <laughs> Hellraiser and uh, is is an I thought it was Billy important Idol. Important part of the Metal Gear Solid fiction. I thought it was Billy Idol. Solus Paul, the headshot on Star there. As we have two minutes and forty seconds to play here in round two, map two of Snake Wars we Town Tournament TV's Metal Gear Solid Portable Ops Tournament. We haven't seen a lot of sniping yet, have we? No, practically none. Is it seems like it's been all here? very, very close range combat Mr. here. Mr. Be Unique, Mr. Mr. Be Unique has gained the high ground here. He be unique with the sniping. Uh, oh, I yeah. see what you did there. Thank you. Not too many people are are doing the sniping yet, Mr. Be Unique. That's one reason why this map is actually my favorite because there's a lot of high ground to get to, and and uh, it's it's just. This more does seem a, this and, does seem a bit more three dimensional than the com base was, which was a, yes. a fairly flat environment by comparison. So uh, one thing you might not know, as we have two minutes and tech, ten seconds left to play here, we asked all of our, our combatants who their favorite uh, Metal Gear Solid character is. Yes. Uh, Fulami, Major Ocelot. Uh, Star likes Wild Dog. Who's Wild Dog, bro? Um, yep. Yes. Um, Thank you, Metal Gear Solid expert. No, hey, he's Metal Gear Solid. He's not Metal <laughs> Gear Solid you, Portable I, Ops. I right. asked you not to call me an expert. He, he's not the expert. He is the person who is most into the game. No, I just, but I had to call him because he's I, I, Greg I, left, I, okay? I'm sorry. I will say it's I been, It hasn't been enough time for that void to be filled. I will say I have not had time to play through Portable Ops yet. Maybe you can win one of these copies. And really? Then you, no, you can't. Uh, uh, Paul Marasco, Solid Paul, he likes no. Brian Correa likes Liquid Snake. Okay, so yeah, I can tell you about Liquid Snake. And Alnaldo Guzman likes Ocelot. Not to be confused with Major Ocelot. Where's Sniper Wolf? Is there a confusion no, there? Sniper Wolf. Where's Raven? Isn't that, basically, isn't that the same dude? Raven, my favorite Metal Gear Solid Pretty character, good. easily. Who? Isn't Major Ocelot just a young version of Ocelot? Yes, that's It's correct. Ocelot with a beret. That's okay. correct. Okay, yeah. And no crazy ponytail. Exactly. And no talking arm. <laughs> <laughs> well, then that's not really Ocelot, no, is it? The yeah. arm doesn't talk. I mean, come on. <laughs> One minute, ten seconds to play here. Pulami with the frog. And Bringing it back again. Yeah, you know what? Three I, million points for Pulami by now. <laughs> Although he, I Jono was, I was the kill. hopeful earlier in this round. 84, 84 50, 50, 39, 39, 29, 23, 22. So a tight pack. Good snack. to see. Good to see Jono bringing it back. Yeah, bringing it back with the, the giant sunglasses and the Joshua tree. What? I'm sorry. No, that's, Fulami, that's Bono. Um, my bad, my bad. Falami with the frog just running in circles right now, just dancing around those bullets. <laughs> See that? Doing a little pirouette right there. <laughs> Snack with a headshot of Mr. Be Unique, saying snipe that. Jono headshot on Fulami. That's going to be worth like a million points, I think, based on the frog. And, and then Jono's doing a little dance over. trying to take the nap right there? What's he doing? <laughs> this isn't a Counter-Strike tournament. 30 seconds left to play. Solidus Paul with Invisible. a headshot on Jono. 23 seconds left to play as Kevin gets ready to write down the scores. He's 18. The, he's got the pen out. Big blinking clock and exclamation point. That means it's almost over. Thank you. Billy Idol here. Exclamation point. Ten important seconds to, the, to go. The middle of your solid. Our next map will be the Soviet patrol base. Shoot Before out, we get dude. there, shoot out! <laughs> Three, two, one. That's the round. Let's get some scores here. Kevin. Round oh, set. Fulami with another 90 points. Snack, impressive 61. 
We have uh, Jono in third place with 45. That's a lot more than zero. Star with 30. And uh, let's see, who did I miss? Mr. B Unique with 23 and Solidus Paul with 27. So it looks like right now, by my rough math, uh, Snack is in second place and uh, Fulami is still in a commanding lead as we head off to the Soviet patrol base. Yes? Sure. Feeling good? Let's do this. Let's keep the ball rolling. It's going. They've, this they've is got... my favorite tournament so far. It just it moves. There's no waiting. It, 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 I love the image that there are six people right now who are getting to sit with a portable device just looking down at it and being part of this tournament. So, you know, having to sit at a computer, fire up the console. It's just like you could be lying on a couch right now playing this game and being in this tournament. I hope someone is. I hope someone's on their couch. Well, you could, be, you could do that with a console, I guess, as well. But it's like, you know, like someone is at an internet cafe. You know, <laughs> they, they might have picked up one of the characters they're using at that cafe. Yes, maybe. You know, we are living in the future. This is awesome. I'm going to do some uh, rough math here and, and pull up the, the total scores right now. 330, I got some for if you want. 337 for Fulami, 99 for Snack, uh, let's see, 82 for Star, 75 for Solidus Paul. 45 for Jono, leaping into fifth place, and 33 for Mr. B. Unique. Was I wrong at any point, Kevin? No, that all looks really good. I like math. All right. And we That's already, why you got into this business. We're, it's, it's true. We're already a minute into the, uh, into the map three here of four. Tell us about the Soviet patrol base, please, Kevin. Well, we can actually take a look at that map a little bit over here to the right. See a lot of squares. Like Tetris. Yeah. Exactly. Now, you know, if I were some of these guys and if I wanted to contain Falami, um, you'll note that the extraction system doesn't work when you're indoors, probably for obvious reasons. You can't just uh, shoot off indoors. No. So uh, you definitely need to, uh, to contain him somehow by getting him inside. How much of the map is, is inside? Um, I would give this uh, spot maybe a 50-50 for, uh, for this particular map. So. That's, a, that's a high ratio compared to the other maps. Someone is knocked out! Someone shoot him! Oh, well. Oh. We'll I never saw, know. I saw Dancing Stars. Yeah, never know. There's Pulami with the little, you the know, little, little again. pirouette again. A little juking, a little seems, jiving. What are they doing right now, you think? Uh, like building up the invisibility power or just uh, looking for someone to kill? I think he's just running around. Okay. Just having fun. Enjoying he, he the He can outdoors. afford to do that. Headshot on Solid's Paul Maybe right he's there. trying to watch himself on the stream. Maybe. But he's no longer in the lead. There'd be the delay. Who's got the frog? Mr. B Unique B. with the frog and 20 points. Here we go. He needs it, too. Look at that frog. Hold on to the frog! Keep the frog. Nice kill right there. Just be unique being stripped. He didn't get his kill there though, he goes. but he, there is the shootout. Smart, uh, can I say it next time? smart uh, move. You can, say it every time. you can say it every time I say it as far as I'm concerned. We will teach you how to make money with timeshare using <laughs> the, the Fulton extraction, extraction system. system. By placing tiny classified ads. <laughs> The Fulton Extraction System Can works. you call it a method next time? The Fulton Extraction Method? <laughs> the Listen, Fulton Extraction Program. We have this There are six here. steps to the Fulton Extraction Program. Right from your own home. Shoot out. <laughs> Shoot out. <laughs> Fulton Extraction System, bolded italics underline on our sheet here, by the way. I appreciate that, Kevin. I know. It's not all caps, though. It could have been that way. But uh, still. It gets the point across. A for you, you know Fulton is the capital, is the capital letter. That's Star true. invisible right now, and, and on the high ground, getting a nice uh, headshot on Jono. Fulami once again with a kill. It's all as Paul. AKA Paul Morasco. Star keeping it invisible. Going after Fulami, who has again the frog. The frog. Fulami with the frog. It's more invisibility here. We're now switching over to Solid as Paul. Also known as the Kerotan. Shoot out. You know, I thought it was just one of those, like, when the first time invisibility happened, I thought it was just one of those camera things, like, oh, that guy's too close to a wall. Therefore, you know, they're just taking the character out so we can see the muzzle flash. But no, no, actually turning invisible. Stunned! And not even like, kind he of- He is stunned, shoot him! There it is, I saw it for a second. That's just brutal! You stun them and then they're on you the ground. You stun them down, the little execution. cute cartoony stars around their head, like boop, 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 boop. So Warner Brothers got real raw. Bop. Is that a sword? <laughs> John, are you some... bought? Is that a machete? Maybe tell me you got, got something going on here. Device. Like, okay, tell me you get like, yeah, tell kind. me you get a million points for using that. Yeah. What are you doing? <laughs> there are some melee weapons in this game. I think we just saw some of those. Shoot out! Now, once, shoot out! once the shoot begins, there is no way to, to hurt the person. Is that right? 
No, I think once they've activated it, um, even if they're still standing there and they're they're just heading out, yeah, they're they, they're done. Shoot out. It is more shoot like out. a little blimp, but shoot out is just so much easier to see. No, it's okay. Like, blimp out doesn't work. It's got to be like you know. Ooh, sounds sound. kind of silly. What blimp out? Yeah. Yeah. It sounds I like hear they make fantastic subs. <laughs> Now, we haven't seen anybody backing up against walls, looking around corners, you know, like that's the, the typical kind of Metal Gear gimmick. Is that just a completely useless tactic here? Well, I think you'll find in just regular old Deathmatch that they're, they're more interested in getting as many headshots as they can. Yeah. It's, it's, it's tough to do that when all the other players are running around. And you're Did everyone else notice that Jono just went out like Ironhide right there? <laughs> Did you see that? was a total flashback to when I cried in a movie theater when... Iron Hides all like, no! <laughs> and then Megatron shoots him in the face. Why do, you have to bring, that? why do you have to bring that up? Jono just did it! He was knocked unconscious. He was, someone was shooting him while he's lying on the ground. He got up for one second and just went, Ugh! and then got killed. Such heroic you nonsense. Exactly. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a look at the scores. Uh, but Flammy's in the lead Flammy, with 85, 85 points. Mr. B Unique 25, five. Star 16, Solace Paul 15. Double zeros for Snack and Jono. Snack and Jono back in the basement. Snack is uh, is actually in second place in the scores right now, which so. is crazy. Well, not after if, if not if he keeps this up in this uh, in this round here, he'll be stripped of that. Currently with a 17 point lead over his closest competitor, which is Nathan Acero, aka Star. So. Uh, we might see, you know, a little shifting of the order going into the fourth map, which we still have, but we still have four minutes. It, it definitely does seem like uh, Falami at this point has it all tied up with a bow on top. I don't, I don't think it's too early to call that one. The way the points work, it really just seems like all these guys should be going after Falami. It really, it's like he's the guy with the points. You know, stop your infighting. You know, look for the frog. Just a tentative alliance for the short term. Just and then when he dies, you know, all five of you can turn on each other and see who wins that one. Right. Or you can keep your back turned to Flammy like Mr. B Unique tried. Um, that strategy doesn't turn out too well. At least not for Mr. B Unique. No, maybe it'll work for him later. So it seems it does seem to me that the fight is uh, is for seconds. Shoot out! Flammy's like, you want this frog? You can't get it. I'm taking that little health to the sky. It seems like you don't really. It seems like people are basically out of health when they're when they're using the Fulton Extraction. That's system. the time to do it. See, that's why I want to know what, what's going to impact your score more negatively, a death or using the death. Extraction. Death. So death you, definitely okay. impacts me yes. more. Well, do we not consider that like a cheesy kind of cop-out to just hit your parachute when you're about to die? No, that sounds or, like a very good use of the system. We need more chaff grenades is what we need. Are, yeah, are the chaff grenades just not easy enough to, to... Although I guess it doesn't seem like there's other than like once the shoot's already shown up, there's no real way to tell that the other player is using the Fulton Extraction System. It, it looks like I saw someone reach to their wrist for a second. But there's not like a, a very broad visual cue to know. So no. it's like you don't really have much time to, to try to counteract the Fulton Extraction System. We're also not seeing any weapon or health pickups anywhere on the map, Kevin. They're just coming in with their loadout and that's all they get? I'm pretty sure that there are pickups there on the uh, on the map. They're just too quick to getting them for us to tell? Yeah, but I could be I could be wrong about that. I'm no expert here, but uh, I'm pretty sure that there are some things on the map that they can grab. Snack killing Solidus Paul, the Mr. B unique call, killing snack. That's how, you know, that's just the way the law of the jungle works right there. This is it. Yeah. This is deathmatch. People People die, man. There it is. See, that's what we got. We see in the little corner right there. There's, there's all kinds of people going after the frog. He messed up. And then up. here comes Jono with his machete, and it just doesn't work. He messed up. He, people trusted him, and they died. died. And then shoot out. Then he had to go down. Yeah, you got to go down. Shoot out. Yes, Brad. Shoot out. Good see one, Brad. You caught it. that one. See, I got there's the shoot out. There's, there's another, another one right one. there. I got to see it. Yeah. Nicely done. We have less than two minutes left to play here. Jono, Jono, big still, believer. Yeah, Jono. Still with the melee. It just says straight killed. Yeah. How is Jono doing? Can we see? Oh, sure. With two minutes left to play here. <gasps> I want to see how that. See that strategy. 123 points. That strategy is not paying off. Because he, he has he has three kills and 14 deaths. Full army, 123 points. Solace, Paul, 27. Mister Unique, 26. Star, 13. Snack, goose egg. You know, I'm gonna say even if even if Fulami wasn't getting this point doubling from. Uh, from having the frog, his kill ratio is consistently so much higher. Yeah, that that he would still be outscoring them, maybe by not such a severe. Uh, uh, He's a stone amount. cold killer. It's a, a he has a Christian has a nice uh, combination of uh, being able to kill people well and knowing how to use the what Ryan. Uh, I believe they call it the Fulton Extraction System. Placing tiny classified ads that saying you are low on health <laughs> will cause a 
parachute. <laughs> See, now you out of your get bag. four people working for you. Okay. And then your team of four people delegate those responsibilities. This is how the Fulton Extraction System works. It's a proven method. <laughs> right from my own home? <laughs> yes. Earned, I made thousands of dollars a month. I made $12,300 last month using the Fulton Extraction System without having to invest any of your own money. Exactly. <laughs> 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 Fulami, by the way, still the frog. We're just going to start calling him Kiratan Fulami. Okay, so at this point it seems pretty likely we're going to get to talk to this guy on the phone and it's, ask it's him correct. how the hell he's doing this. He's just killing more dudes. He's destroying these guys. Less. Don't go down the ladder when Fulami comes around the corner. Mr. <laughs> B.U.N.E. comes around the corner. 20 seconds left to play. I just saw Null and I just assumed, shoot out, that it was, uh, <laughs> that it was Fulami, but no, it wasn't. We have... 12 seconds left to play. Fulami down again. Star getting a headshot on Fulami. That's going to be some nice points in this round. Star with another kill on Solus. Paul. Five seconds. It does seem like, though, there is a, there is a good fight for, uh, for second, second place at this there point. There will be. We are going to see it coming down. And there is the round right now. Our next map will be Silo Entrance. But these points go like this. Fulami 139. Mr. B Unique 40. Solid is Paul. And Star with 37. And, uh, oh, we'll get those other two in just Snack a second. Snack has one. Snack got one. Jono got zero. Zilch. And as we said, what did I say? Who had 40? Mr. B Unique. Jono, put away the club. Stick to some guns. <laughs> and we have a change in the scoreboard right there. With that one point, uh, Snack has fallen all the way to fourth place out of the money. Ooh. That he needs to get his game back together. Yes. He was doing well round two. Round three was not so good to and, him. He, and he has nine minutes and about 52 seconds to uh, try getting this uh, a $300 or $100 gift card to Let's Best Buy. Let's see how he does. Let's. <laughs> I mean, the action is already going on in the silo entrance. Kevin, tell us about the silo entrance, please. Well, let's take a look. Actually, you see some kind of maze-like things here, um, which, which you'll be watching them. It's worth it noting, though, that uh, the players in the, in the player chat room mm -hmm. were just talking about the fact that this last map that we played is by far their least favorite. Awesome! So uh, they, they definitely don't like that uh, last map. Um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, for, yeah. I'm sorry, everyone. Yeah. It was fun to watch, though. It had the, the vertical thing. We got to see a little bit of sniping from Mr. B Unique. So, Kevin, I'm going to shout out some numbers. You tell me if I'm wrong at any point, okay? All right. I'm going to test my math and my sloppy handwriting. Falami winning this already. 476 <laughs> points. Got it. All right. Second place right now, star Nathan Acero, 119. Got it. All right. Third place, just seven points behind at 112, solid Paul, Paul Morasco. Got it. And uh, then we have in fourth, Snack with 100, and uh, Mr. B Unique, 73, and Jono with 45. Couldn't those get guys, more perfect than that. Those, awesome. Those guys are going to be fighting hard for that 300 bucks. There is a 19-point spread right now between second and fourth. And you can't really even count out Mr. B Unique. Uh, he's only, you know, 50-some way. So if he runs away this map, he might finish with a prize here. John, oh, sorry. I have no faith <laughs> at this point. You're running around I, with a bad axe, you're looking like an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, I, I have to say I, I, I can respect something about just deciding that you're gonna go for it and just hit the guy to death. Say that it's for the honorable. last map. It's though. honorable. It's not honorable. It's annoying. Here we see Star, Star busting sniping. out the sniper rifle. Headshot. Fulami on snack. Mr. B Unique. Headshot on John. Out. Star kills someone. <laughs> You've got the sweet position. Yeah. Use it. You got you. You're wearing that many. You're wearing that jacket and that hood there. You so are many obviously layers. a sniper. Yeah. It's cold up there. Reload. The Already eight minutes, fifteen seconds left to play. And it was really all about the battle for second place. Fuami already uh, has a window open on the computer in the internet cafe, uh, figuring out what they're going to do with the $600 gift card to Best Buy. Looking at bestbuy.com right now. Yeah. <laughs> What's on sale? There's, there's some sweet yeah. cameras out there. It is, yeah. I Whatever, know. dude. Uh, Get an HD TV. Half of one. That's what I do. <laughs> Shoot out! <laughs> And Falami, is, 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 am I incorrect in seeing that Falami has the lead again? Oh, no, well, you know, where are the odds? There he is. Oh, is, is, so there, is there any round of this thing where he has not taken and held the lead? Uh, yeah, that's, what, that's how I believe. Round uh, two, he did not have it for the majority of the round. He did end up finishing with it. He did lead. end up finishing with it, though. That's a snack. Uh, snack did so well in the second round is because Snack had the frog for a little bit. Yeah. For a, little, for, for a good amount of time. More sniping here, Mr. B Unique. That darn frog makes all the difference. It's all about the frog. That crazy frog. It's like uh, Magnolia or something around here. Let's, not, bring, let's not bring that up. The, the frog explains everything somehow. I don't understand it exactly, but it does. 
Mr. B Unique sniping and then not afraid to defend the ramp. Trying to take it to the ramp? No, he'll come down and meet you there. To getting a kill on Saz Paul. With the sniper rifle. With the sniper rifle, we're gonna go after Jono now. It doesn't really seem like the sniper rifle is powerful enough unless you get that headshot. Oh, oh. Jono headshot on Falami. Mr. B Unique headshot on Jono. It's how it works, the food chain. It is, watch a man in the tower. That's the Fulton extraction sh system at its finest. <laughs> Fulton extraction system working for you. Exactly, shoot out. So we have six minutes, 45 seconds left to play. Kevin, how's that race for second place going? Let's see how we're looking. Falami 64, Salas Paul 25, Mr. B Unique 23, Star 11, John 03, Snack 3. I believe, I'm gonna say Snack's out of it. It's a, uh, it's a, uh, I've, it's a fight for second now between Solidus Paul and Star. So, and Solidus Paul has 25, and how many do you say Star had? 11. 11. So uh, Solidus Paul already ha is, is seven points behind Star right now. So if uh, Paul can score at least seven more, then they'll get, uh, he'll get second place. We still, we've still got 6.15 in this round, entirely possible with those kind of swings. We've seen, we've seen bigger swings in, in seconds. In this game, and Snack technically could also catch up, but after scoring only one point in the last round, I think uh, I think uh, Brian's checked out. I think he he lost the fire. He, he lost his game. He lost his focus. He lost the edge. Kevin, do we have a tiebreaker for second place, or as a matter of fact, we do. If necessary, we're going to play the uh, the com base map again. Ten minutes, just two on uh, one on one for a tiebreaker for, exactly. for second place. Exactly. Fantastic. I like that. Or third place if it comes up. Or third place. All right. Rock and roll. We we could be here. Or a little bit. Bring it on. I'm ready. I want to see. I, I would like to because it, it, it does seem like there would be a much different dynamic uh, in a one-on-one -on -one uh, kind of competition here than, than this four-way free-for-all. That's, that's when maybe you would see some of the peeking around and stalking I, I think, each other yeah, a lot more. I'd expect a little bit more stealth. A lot more tactical, time. a lot less frenzy. I'm loving the frenzy, though. In case you're just joining us, you're tuned to GameSpot's Tournament TV, Snake Wars, Metal Gear Solid, Portable Ops. And uh, we're on map four right now, the silo entrance. Fulami already won. We're already giving it to him, practically. Tech no, 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 we're not giving it to him. He's taking it. Right, he's taking yeah. it. We still have to wait for it to officially happen, but about to win a $600 uh, Best Buy gift card. Still a fight for second place, which is a $300 gift card between uh, Solidus Paul, Star, and possibly Snap. That ain't no chump change. No, it isn't. And uh, by the way, everyone playing this game on a PSP. That's right. That's this the only is a way PSP you can play. tournament. You know, people with a little wireless device sitting somewhere. Just, nope. just no mouse and keyboards here, son. It just no. isn't done. Yeah. But now it is. But here, a first on tournament TV. What's next? Like an Animal Crossing fishing competition? Sure. Why not? How about, how about a Tetris? Next week. Shoot out. Tetris? Tetris? You can get 20 people in a game of Tetris, can't you? Oh, yeah. 10. 10? 10. 10. You can get a million people in a game of Tetris, can't you? You get like, yes. you can get like a, a good 300,000 people into a game of Tetris. That would be a good tournament. I'd want to play in that one. Well, Tetranet, that supports up to like a... One year, so I think that does like a, a it's not, dozen or well, something. So, well, that's not on the DS, though. It's it? not. Yes, yeah, that's what I was, I was looking for a portable game to play. Okay. Four minutes, 19 seconds left to go right now in round four, the silo entrance. And there are Solace Paul and Star going toe to toe right there. Of a bejeweled Then Jono comes in and kills both of them with oh. the ship. Jono's like, oh yeah? You know what? Those two guys playing for second place right there, I killed them both. I love how every time we talk about his melee, it's a different weapon. Yeah. Is it what is it? A knife? I don't, I don't a know. I don't know what it is. I still don't know. I don't remember what it is. Flash like a mag light or something. Once upon a time, I was in a store and I saw a all black machete in the camping section for like four dollars, and I had to buy it just because. And that's what it looks like he has to me. That's, I think he has a four dollar department store machete. That's pretty <laughs> wicked. Is it? It's way wicked. It's in Vermont though. I don't know if they say wicked as much in Vermont. Solace Paul with a headshot on Star. Fulami headshot on Solace Paul. Those are the names you want to look for now. Solace Paul and Star. We want to see when we watch their kills. Because if Paul, as we said, gains seven points on Snack, what's, on Star, I mean, there's gonna, they're going to at least be tied for second place. Well, that was the what's case the, last time we checked in. What's the race for second place looking like now? Three minutes, 20 seconds left to go. Fulami, 105, walking away. Solus Paul, 42. Mr. B Unique, 32. Star, 20. Solus Paul, back up to 45. So right now, Solus Paul, 25-point lead on Star. He holds that. Second place is his. Fulami, walking away with it. Snack, I, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to agree with you. Snack's lost. Snack, yeah, is, yeah. Snack is out. Mr. B Unique though is uh, is is trying here. They're, I believe they're in second, right? They're in third. They're you know. He's making an eleventh hour push. Yes, and if Mr. B Unique can somehow score oh forty Shootout. seven more points than Star, then they would get third place. But I don't see that. Blami saying, you know what, Solace Paul, you enjoy your three hundred dollars, but I'm just gonna kill you. 
with my frog in my head. Salami probably could have taken this round off, right? Yes. I mean, he's, yeah. Maybe, but, you know. But he's still, he, like, he's, he's just. Christian Herrera. He continues to dominate. He, he is not taking this thing. He, he is not, uh, as I would have expected uh, as he was performing the beginning of the second round, he is not taking his lead for granted. No. His, his kill ratio is, pro. is still very high. He's got his honor to think about. Star with a headshot on John Snack with a headshot on Star. Something to be said for, for playing as Here's Nolan. Here's with his pirouette. He just wants someone to shoot. Falami likes doing his little dance. He's spinning around. He's, <laughs> he's checking all 360 degrees available to him. And he's looking for someone to shoot. He's like, see this frog in my head? I earned this. Can we also send him, along with the $600 gift card, a frog? I bet Where you are we going to find a frog? And There's got to be like some sort of pet store online thing. Pet delivery? Yeah. My mother has a pond outside of her house. Perfect. I'll just pick one. Yes. Be sure to put, uh, you know, water in with it when you mail it. And a, a sweet little uh, necklace kind of Kermit the Frog thing like he's got going on here. Yeah, that'd be good. Flammy, dude, I'm getting frill, the little frill part. Yeah, the little frill kind of shaggy neck. Flammy is really, he just, he's always looking to kill. Always be closing. Yes, ABC. Always, always be killing. That's ABK. what Flammy's about. Solace Paul with a headshot on Falami. I'm going to say, I think, with one minute and 25 seconds to go here, I think, I think Solace Paul, with a 29-point lead over Star, is taking this, is taking second place. Falami, 144 points. Mr. Beauty, 36. Oops. No one's really worried about that. No, it's okay, Kevin. <laughs> Snack with 15. Jono with 12. And a sword of some sort. Something like that. A sharp knife. An Bill, object. A billy club. I wish I brought my club. weapons list. What's that, Kevin? I wish I'd brought my weapons list. Yeah, that's all right, dude. We're having more fun this way. I think that guy's using a gun. One minute left to play here in GameSpot's Tournament TV. Snake Wars, Metal Gear Solid, Metal Gear Solid Portable Ops. You're so excited to say it. Stand by for your chance to win this camouflage PSP right here, but we only have 45 seconds left to go, so... Uh, Stand by on the action right now. Yes. As uh, we're going to watch... Wait, Who's going to get the most kills here in the last 40 seconds? Is it going to be Falami or is it going to be... Uh, Someone going to rally? My money is on Falami. That, that's good. I don't, I don't think he's money. slowing down. This is the part where everyone stops and says, good game, good game. You can't really say that because, you know, it's a PSP game. Yeah, no, no there's no voice communication going on here, right? I believe so. And, uh, and there's, no, there's no texting. You don't call up, you know, you don't jump on your keyboard real quick with a big <laughs> key and say, all right, we'll catch you later. They have some quick, test, there's quick no, text messages. There's in no there, T9 like, predictive uh, text. Oh, there are? There is something yeah. like that. Oh, there is my bad. There is some sort of text. Uh, but I'm, I just uh, said, there's a keyboard I was saying you could No, no, it. there is Because this is on the PSP. Ten seconds left to play. Star killing snack. Star says, I want second place still. Can I have it? Three. Looking at Fulami the frog here. $600 is his unofficially. Oh, and there's official. the round. That's See those unofficial. scores. Fulami, 146 points. Solid as Paul, 57. And uh, let's see, it looked like Star has 38. And that's going to be enough for Solid as Paul to sneak into uh, second place. I'm going to let it for Kevin and his math because his math is more official than mine. Uh, Snack with 19 at the end there. Jono with 9. Kevin. I'm adding him up now. Doing the math. Uh, Frank, I'm going to say it's okay to get uh, Christian on the line right now, though, because he had 622 points. No doubt. Almost as much as his uh, uh, semifinal score of uh, 634. Letting up, a little, letting up a little bit. Yeah, huh? I got, yeah. He maybe got a little tired. Where's, the lot, where's that other 12 points? Uh, where That's did that go? Know. All right, Kevin. You ready? Give it to us. Tell All us, right. please. Lami is our winner at 622 points. Surprise! Uh, Solidus Paul, um, second place at 169. Congratulations, Paul. And we've got uh, third place is going to start, 157. 157. Yeah, 119 for Snack, 109 for Mr. B, and Jono at 54. Oh, poor Jono. Well, we'd like to thank all everybody for playing in this tournament, uh, not just the six finals, but everyone else who were in the preliminaries and semis as well. Right now, though, standing by on the phone, we have Fulami himself, Christian here. What's up, Christian? Hey, man. <laughs> Congratulations. Uh, thanks for keeping it close. Uh, sorry about that, man. <laughs> you absolutely what, dominated them. Why are them. you apologizing? <laughs> All right, Christian, tell us, tell us how you did it. Obviously, you were just playing better in a lot of ways, but it, was it all about the frog? Uh, yeah, it's about the frog, man. Taking the lead, you get uh, double points for getting those kills. Nice. 
Now we're also noticing that your, your kill ratio was uh, inordinately higher than any of the other players. What can you attribute that to? <sighs> the full time, man. Perishing out as soon as I got low on health. The full extraction system. The full extraction system working for you. That is the key, according to the winner here today. Now I have the, I have another question for you, Christian. Where were you playing this? Ah, uh, in front of my computer. <laughs> you know, that's not the most. I'm going to say it's not the most interesting. It's probably the smartest place to play it. I could I could see that. I was hoping for like in the bathroom. Yeah, we yeah, were hoping, we were hoping for an internet cafe or you know the kitchen. You know, hanging out at the Starbucks. You have to go out in the car because you steal Wi-Fi from your neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we look, we're looking for something like that. But, uh, but Christian, uh, how much have you? How often have you played this game, and how far have you gotten to Portable Ops to get uh, the characters you were playing with? Oh man, I've been playing pretty much nonstop since it came out. I've got like 200 something hours of gameplay on my file. Oh. But uh, yeah, I played through the game several times to get all the characters I got. Did you think? Uh, so would you say that 200 hours uh, paid off now that you've won a $600 gift card to Best Buy? Yeah, I'd say so, man. You, did you ever imagine that chance would come out, or did you just really love the game you wanted to keep playing it? I just really love the game, man. It's awesome. Awesome. Do you know how you're going to spend your money yet? Uh, I was actually setting some money aside for a laptop, so I was thinking about uh, All right. it towards that. Good decision. Cool, cool. Christian, do you have any uh, final words for anyone you're playing against, friends out there watching? Uh, I'd just like to say thanks to my teammates for uh, training me so well. Ah, oh, teammates. That's true. Who are they? Uh, <laughs> some kind of <laughs> <laughs> the, the memorable teammates. Yes, obviously well, quite memorable. Uh, names here. I got Crimson and uh, Ted Bigger Boss and uh, Dante Twenty X. Cool. Fantastic. Well, congratulations, Christian. Thanks for coming out uh, and thanks for being on Gamespot Tournament TV. Thank you. All right. A, uh, a soft-spoken Christian right there on the line. 200 plus hours? That's crazy. That's, 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 so much. Has the I game think, been out for 200 hours? That's, that's more time than I put into my level 45 warrior <laughs> in World of Warcraft. Don't, don't bring it down to your level, I'm Brad. just saying. That's a lot of hours. That it's a lot is of game. Uh, and, and he earned it. Obviously, the experience paid off because he just absolutely ran away with this. I'm, I'm, I'm glad that... We provided him that opportunity to cash in. God, I know. That's 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 nice to be part of it. it would be someone, I, I guarantee you, someone has said, Christian, why you play that game so much, and now we can say, well, look at this laptop. There you go. There you go. There I've you got go. this laptop. I played so well. Yeah, Kevin. How are you doing, yes, buddy? Sir. I'm great. Oh. Give us a quick recap on the tournament before we start giving stuff away. You know, no surprises. I think I, you know, it's pretty much a foregone conclusion from the beginning um, that uh, Fulami was, uh, if not going to run away with this tournament, at least uh, make sure that he uh, kept as, as good of a lead as possible. Um, and keep your eyes open because uh, next week, signups for the next tournament are open. Uh, City Under Siege for Medieval 2 Total War is uh, coming up. And uh, what's even better about that is Creative Assembly, the developers, are actually providing us um, a scenario for the finals. Really? So that's so a, a uh, really good news. Thing. Yes, it's a really good thing. That's awesome. That is yeah, rad. Yeah, we're excited. Are cool. The, are the players going to get to see that before the tournament, or is that... They will, they, uh, the finalists will have a tiny amount of time to take a look at that. Nice. Very, very cool. That's cool. I'm excited about that. I'm excited yeah. as well. I'm excited to give away this away to one of the viewers right now. I'm, How are we going to do it? I'm not giving these away. No, you're not going to Brad's going to keep those okay. three. So there, nine. There's a prizes tab you can click on right now. If you click on that tab, you will see some forms right there. And I'm going to give you a couple moments to put in your name and mailing address right now because we need that information so we can send you your prize. And this is all in the window that people are watching this in right yes, now. Yes, if you're watching the show right now, you can see your prize. So stop tab. chatting it up. It might just be a subscriber thing. I'm going to show you either way. If you see a prize tab, click on it. Fill in your name and mailing address anywhere. You see a bunch of fields, put it in any of them. We can figure it out from there. Quit talking about cake and pie. Cake and, uh, uh, and pie. then, uh, pie. yeah, pie jerks. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and prepare to answer trivia started. questions. Uh, first, we should, should we give away the games first? Or should we Let's give, give away, away the games. Let's yeah. wrap it up. Start so we have, we have 12 games to give away. Count them. Uh, 12 possible winners. And we're going to give them, so, you know, make sure you have a PSP, maybe. No, who cares? Just go for the game. Go for the game. Uh, <laughs> and prepare to answer this trivia question. Brad, do you have one ready? I do not. You do not? I was counting on you. You are counting on me? All right. So our first trivia question, I'll, ma I'll make it an easy one if you've been paying attention to the tournament. Uh, first 12 people to give us their full name, full mailing address, and to tell us how many points did Fulami have at the end of the entire tournament? And uh, you tell us, and uh, you win yourself a copy of Metal Gear Solid Portable Ops for the PSP. Fantastic. Yeah. One of 12. That's good. Yeah. 
12 copies. All right. So that's that. So that's that one. So do we have to uh, do we have to now hang out for the people to answer? We're going to give we'll get I'll, we'll give people about 15 seconds to uh, figure it out because I'm going to guess a lot of people are going to have to wait for the rerun to check for that one for sure there's a lot of prizes. So the rerun, you know, will be up in a little bit. But uh, all right, now that you've answered that question, uh, now once again in the ask prizes and the prizes thing, name full mailing address and prepare to answer a trivia question uh, to win yourself this beautiful camouflage now, is, is, down. now is, is this PSP. just is this just the PSP? Does no. this come with the game? Oh, it comes, it comes yeah, with the, the game. Games in there comes too. with the game and its own carrying case. It's got a little uh, it's got a little portable ops kind of thingy on the side. Should I ask a trivia question about about that right there? Uh, if you want to, does that count? Do you like sure. do you like that right there? Is that is that a good trivia question? Sure. Uh, uh, I have no idea what that means. I don't. Sure. I don't either. Okay. Okay. But I can't wait to hear your question. <laughs> All right. Here's the trivia question: Metal Gear Solid Portable Ops. Knowing that this this box came from Japan, uh, but if you know Metal Gear Solid Portable Ops. All right. It says right here on the back there is a blank snake uh, hemp PSP case and a blank snake hemp PSP strap. What is the blank before snake? So this is going to be a character in the game, probably who's yeah. the latter half. This is something. Name is Snake. It's not solid, and it's not liquid. Those are your hints. Yeah, F figure it out. First one to do that. All uh, those people who already put in liquid and solid, not feeling oh, so good, they're kicking themselves. So make sure you have your full name and mailing address. First person to do that. They're hating it. Uh, right now. We because we'll even win, if you're right and you uh, don't have year. that information, you don't have the the, the name and mailing address. We can't do anything for you. Kevin, can we ask you to uh, announce the winners on the GameSpot Tournament Forum sometime in the near future? Absolutely. I'll be happy to. And where can they find that forum? You can go to uh, www.gamespot.com, click I've heard on that. Forums, mm -hmm. and then click on the Tournament Forum, which is in the top list. And the winners will be listed there. Absolutely. I won this. No, you didn't. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> but uh, Brad Shoemaker, Ryan Davis, thanks for coming by. It's it was a blast. You had Thank fun? Thank you, sir. You uh, Kevin Van Ord, KVO, KTVO. <laughs> Straight out of Fairfield. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm really upset, this whole Beard Watch thing, and I wasn't included. You can I'm stop by on the spot anytime you want to be part of Beard Watch. It's okay, what's, man. What's, All right. What's stopping Beard Watch from infiltrating Because this isn't on the spot. TV. No, it's on the spot. We're keeping right. tournament TV respectable. Uh, okay. okay. For all the crew uh, you say so. and everyone here on camera, thanks to all the contestants for playing. Thanks to all, for you. Thanks to all of you for watching. We'll catch you next time on GameSpot Tournament TV. I love how that you...